Chapter 3, problem number 4, projectile motion. Let me read the question first. Romeo is chucking pebbles gently up to Juliet's window and he wants the pebbles to, to hit the window with only a horizontal component of velocity. He is standing at the edge of a rose garden 4.5 meters below her window and 5 meters from the base of the wall. How fast are the pebbles going when they hit her window? What I've drawn here is a window up here. He's throwing little pebbles. They're like small little rocks. And he wants it just to hit the pebbles, the rock. The, the pebble hits the window with a velocity vx. And that's what we want to find out. What is the vx velocity as that pebble just hits the window? And they only gave us some information. He's standing down below here in the rose garden. He's five meters from the wall. If you make this the wall of the window or the house, he's five meters from the wall and he's throwing it up 4.5 meters up to the, the height of the window or the center of the window. So it's 4.5 meters in the y direction, five meters in the x direction. We have a V naught, but we don't know what it is. We only have, and we have a V naught Y and a V naught X, which we don't know what it is, but I'm going to try to calculate these to find VX. We're going to have to start with two different equations of motion here. First in the Y direction, we're going to use the third one. We haven't used that much, but this time we're going to use VY squared equals V naught Y squared plus 2AY times y minus y naught. We're also going to use vy equals vy naught plus ayt. And for the x direction, we're going to use these two, x equals x naught plus v naught xt plus one half axt squared and vx, which is going to be equal v naught x plus at axt and we're going to let AX equal zero so that we're going to find right off the bat that the VX is going to be V naught X. I just want to show you that on the diagram. The V naught X here is going to be equal to the VX so somehow if we find V naught X we know that this VX is going to be the same because there's no acceleration in this direction. So Let's proceed and, and solve this uh, uh, question. We'll start with that first equation of motion vy squared equals v naught y squared plus 2ay times y minus y naught. y naught is where we start and that's going to be zero. ay is going to be a minus g for gravitation in the, in the down direction. vy is also going to be equal to zero. That's the speed at the very top just before it hits the window. There's no y direction, it's only x. So we can rearrange, put this, you can see this goes to zero and VY goes to zero. So if we rearrange the solve for VOY, we get VOY equals square root of 2GY. Y was given as 4.5 meters, gravitational constant 9.80 times 4.5 times 2 square root. We get V O Y or V naught Y equals 9.39 meters per second. We'd plug that into our second equation because we want to find T. V Y equals V O Y plus A Y T. T is going to be, again, we have V Y up here is equal to zero, so this is going to go to zero. We're going to get V O Y on this side, so it'll be minus. And we're going to, AY is going to be equal minus G. So the minus signs are going to cancel out. We got VOY from this equation, which we bring down here. So you got 9.39 divided by 9.8. So you get a time. Time is 0 0.958 seconds. That's how much time was the, the flight of the pebble. And I'm not rounding off yet. We're going to carry that number forward. We're going to use the X equals X naught plus V naught T plus one half AX T squared. We know that VX is V naught X and we know that always in horizontal flight AX equals zero, X is zero, 
and x x naught is zero, and x is five meters, which was given. So this reduces to zero, and the ax reduces to zero, leaving only this part of the equation left. That's what we want. We want to find vox, so it's going to be x over t. That's five meters. We brought the t in from the other side, from the y direction, which was 958. We get a number that looks like 5.219, which you do on your calculator. And we know that we need significant figures. We have two significant figures, two significant figures. We reduce this down to two significant figures. So VOX is 5.2 meters per second. And that's what we were trying to find. VOX is equal to VX is equal to 5.2 meters per second.